Glam Dolls. It is a glorious day today, and I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. <sighs> today is finally here, my first ever giveaway drawing. So today, at the end of this video, everybody's name went into this little bowl right here and we are gonna draw a winner now I was gonna have my boys be the one to come and draw the winner and announce it but they took off to their grandparents house last night they ditched out on mama so I guess I'll have to do it myself but that's okay because we need to get this winner and oh crap I didn't bring it over here um, but when I draw the winner I will show you guys what you're getting the Carly Bible deluxe palette and make a bag full of goodies I'm so excited good luck to all of you guys and that brings me to my next point we hit 200 subscribers last week you guys so you know what that means I've got another giveaway to do. So that announcement on what you guys will be getting and all the terms to it will be announced next week, I believe. Next week, I'm going to try to get it up for you guys. Um, like I said in my last video, I've had a lot going on in my personal life. Um, my grandmother's not doing so well, and I'm having issues with my family. Um, and work has been crazy. My uh, co-worker quit so it's just me at the office things have just been my whole personal life is in shambles right now but to be honest I have so much faith in God and it is through my faith in God and through my amazing husband and my amazing children that I know I can make it through this because I mean God has got me through some very dark storms in my life um, so I know that this will pass um, and I just thank everybody for their concerns last week and everybody's prayers and thoughts and all my glam dolls who did check in on me you guys are so sweet and amazing and I am so blessed to have you guys I can't even tell you enough how blessed I am to have some of the most amazing subscribers in the world like I love you guys so much and I feel like I know some of you guys so well already just from chatting back and forth and stuff I love you guys to death you know so thank you guys so much um, and today's look uh, I filmed last night Ooh, I'm a little short in here <laughs> I filmed last night but filming went till 1 in the morning doing this eye makeup look well not this exact one but pretty much the same color combo um, because I got a late start I've been busy this week and so I didn't get to film the intro or the giveaway which is fine because it'll go up today and I loved the color combo so much from using my new Lorac Mega Pro palette number four as you can see it is so dirty already because I've gotten so much use out of it and it reminds me a lot of the ABH palette except it's not velvet it's just this light color they get dirty so freaking fast like when I'm like dust hitting my um you know makeup brush and dusting it off or gets on my fingers and whatever but it gets dirty so quick so this palette is already very well well loved um and I'll let you guys know my review on it I've already hit pan on this color right here but I'll go into all of that and why I hit pan so quick and everything that's going on and what I think if it's worth the $59 that palette is exclusive to Ulta only that is the only other place besides the Lorac um, website that you can get it so I will let you guys know if it's worth hunting down so stay tuned we're gonna do this look then I'll give you my review on the palette and then we will do the drawing Yay! I'm so excited! okay okay all right guys let's get in to the look Glam Dolls, we're going to be using the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette, and as shown in my previous video, these are the stunning colors. And first, I'm going to go in with Butterscotch as my transition shade, and I'm going to be using a card. You can use any credit card or tape or anything, just so I can get a more precise edge. And I love this palette, but with using it this week, I've found that it has a 
ton of fallout. So this will help from getting um, all the fallout all over my under eye and just create a sharper edge. Um, normally I would use tape, but because I put my foundation on already, the tape would bring my foundation up. So I'm just using a regular old like card. <laughs> and next I'm going to go in with mocha, which is one of my favorite colors in this. It is just the perfect medium brown. And I'm going to go a little bit lower. As a matter of fact, with all the colors, I'm going to go lightest to darkest and go lower and lower and lower layer by layer. And we are just going to put it on the outer edge and use the brush I used on butterscotch to just blend it out and keep blending until you get the color desired. All these colors, well these mattes especially, blend so well. And then next, I'm going to go in with a reddish brown in mahogany. And again, just taking that on the outer corner and going slightly lower. And then we're going to take the blender brush uh, from Mocha and blend that one out. So we're going to blend that into my actual crease line just to give it a little bit more definition. And just keep going back and forth until everything is blended out perfectly. Since mahogany wasn't dark enough, I'm going to take cedar, which is a super dark brown, and just go a little bit slightly even lower than where mahogany was and just define my crease and outer corner a little bit more. And again, you're just going to keep going back in and blending and then going back in and blending until you get the color you want. Seriously, if I filmed how long this actually takes me to do going back and forth, we'd be here for hours, literally like three hours it takes me to do my makeup with how much I normally blend. going to take the NYX Full Coverage Concealer Pot um, and just put that on the base of my eyelid because I have found with the shimmer shadows, if I don't lay some kind of primer down, then they don't show up. So I want it to show up pigmented and dark. I mean, they do show up. It's just not as pigmented as they swatch. So we're going to lay this down first. Um, it is a good dupe for the MAC paint pots but it's a cheaper alternative so now we're gonna go in with Lagoon which is this beautiful uh, dark turquoisey green color it is just so freaking beautiful it's like a bluish green and it's got little specks of purple glitter in it and look how freaking pigmented that is that it, I've been waiting all week to use this color it has just been screaming my name and I think this is going to be my favorite winter time eyeshadow color and you're going to see right here I didn't put any um NYX uh, concealer right there and as you can see the difference between when you put the concealer down and when you don't it just does not go on as pigmented so then I go back in and take a little um, brush with a little bit of the NYX and lay that down so I can get the same pigment all the way through. You can also just wet your brush too with some Fix Plus or some other setting spray and that would help achieve this look as well if you don't want to lay down concealer or primer or anything like that. go in with foam and use that to highlight my brow bone and I'm also going to use it to highlight the inner corner of my eye as well. It is the only light 
shimmer highlight color in this whole palette and that's one thing I wish there were more of but whatever so then for my bottom lash line I'm going to go in with butterscotch and again use that as my transition on the lower line and work my way closer to the lash line and just build it all up as like the whole gradient effect and have them all just blend into each other and now I'm taking mocha and running that along my lash line as well and then last but not least we're going to take cedar and just smudge that on the actual lash line get that as close to the lash line as you possibly can and I'm going to make sure that blends up into the outer V of my eyeshadow. And normally I stop about halfway through on my lower lash line, but I took it all the way across. And then I'm going to go back in with Mocha and just blend it all together. And as I said, I'm going to go ahead and take foam and then use that as my inner corner highlight. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out because I was using mostly browns, but it ended up being really pretty. And now I'm going to take the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner and just tight line just the upper lash line because I'm going to be using my Maybelline Brown Eye Studio Gel Liner to line my lower lash line because I want that to stay mostly brown. And I'm not going to be using any other eyeliners on my top eyelid since I have such a dark eyeshadow. I'm just going to use some mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Lash. And I'm just going to use that to um, darken up my lashes so that they blend in to my fake lashes. I'm just going to take my favorite everyday lashes, the Kiss Lashes in number 11, and just pop those right on as close to the lash line as we can because I didn't use any eyeliner. So you want to make sure you're really precise when you're not using any eyeliner. Usually eyeliner can kind of cover up if you've messed up a little bit and gotten not as close. Um, and then I'm going to take my mascara and just blend it all together and darken my lashes up a little bit more. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Shy. And this is one of my favorite favorite all-time favorite lipsticks or liquid lipsticks I use this color almost every single day in the winter and fall time and there was at one point I did use it every day I've gone through like four or five bottles of this stuff it is my favorite Here is the finished makeup look and I hope you guys love it. I really, really love the end result of this. I think it is such a beautiful wintertime fall look that you can wear out at night and just look super glam and it actually even though it looked like a lot of shadow it actually didn't take as long as it normally does for me. So these Lorac shadows I'm pretty happy with. All right, you guys, so my thoughts on this palette are, yes, I created an amazing look with this. I love the colors, um, especially like Peacock, which is this beautiful navy blue. My lighting in here sucks. A couple of my lights went out. Um, and then the Lagoon color that I used today, again, you can't really see. It just kind of looks black. Let me see if I can get a better. Uh, yeah, you can't really see. Well. I absolutely love a lot of these colors. The mattes are really good too. So here's my gripe with it though. If you do not put down a primer, they blend out into nothing. Absolutely nothing. Or um, they don't go on, period. Like um, Lagoon is a very, like they swatch very pigmented. They feel very creamy, very soft, better, very buttery. 
Um, but when you're actually using an eye brush and putting it on, the pigment is just not there unless you use an eye primer. Now, if you use an eye primer, I mean, look at this. It was amazing. You guys saw me putting it on. It was just like, bam, you know, or even just wetting your brush a little bit. I really feel like these work better wet, at least the shimmers. Now, the mattes are a different story. I found the mattes worked a lot better too, but some of them that I've, I've actually played with almost every color in here. Um, throughout the last week and some of them blend out into nothingness or the other issue with the mattes that I had is when I am blending them out they're kind of patchy like um, you know that's exactly it they're patchy like some will blend off into nothing and then I'll have a dark patch like they don't blend cohesively you know so that's just some of the colors and then some of the colors just blend like a dream they go on perfect which so it's a little inconsistent but I feel like the the colors that are in this palette I'll show you guys again are I mean the looks are endless and uh, again these colors like up here remind me of spring and these colors remind me of fall so I feel like you can use this palette all year round create infinite looks um, the only thing I wish it had is a matte black in here but they have dark chocolate which is um, it doesn't even look brown when you put it on it's like dark 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 it's almost black so I think I could get by with that um, other than that, oh, and I wish it had, the only um, light highlight color it has is this foam color that I used today, and I wish it had more of like a very, very light gold, um, like a champagne color in there, but that's okay. I have tons of other champagne golds that I could use to highlight. I do love the color scheme in this one um, versus some of the other Mega Pro palettes. Um, if you don't mind a little work, I feel like this palette could be worth your money. Now, I like to collect the Mega Pro palettes, so to me, I was going to get it no matter what. Um, I, I like to collect palettes, what can I say? You know, I'm a junkie when it comes to it. Um, and I do like the Lorac Pro um, eyeshadows. I really, really do. They are very pigmented, but again, some of them you've got to work a little hard at and if you don't mind a little bit of hard work the color payoff is absolutely worth it so um, with also figuring that out I think you get let me see how many one two three four five six seven eight times four so you get 32 eyeshadows for $59 so everything broke down to less than two dollars um, in eyeshadow so to me it is absolutely worth it now the only only thing is I do use this mocha color quite a bit and it's been one week and I've already hit pan they are very soft so the second you even touch and I mean the lightest touch into this palette it just kicks up so much so you need to be very careful and know you're gonna have a lot of waste with it I feel like this is the issue with the subculture palette as well but again it's worth it so uh, the, because the color payoff especially on mocha that's one of my favorite colors I use it like every single day and I've already hit pan so I'm really really sad that I've hit pan on that color I love it love it love it so it's kind of a choice you have to make for your, yourself. To me, I feel it was worth it. I'm, I'm happy with my purchase. I don't mind the work because I love the colors in there. So especially this unicorn color, oh my God, I cannot wait to use it. Again, you know, that pinky, holographic-y um, warp look. Again, you can't, it's not even picking it up on here, but it's got, you know, the... The undertones where it's it's very holographic -y and it changes tones and again it sucks you can't see it on here but yeah so I feel like it was worth it I'm happy like I said so that's my review on the Lorac Mega Pro 4 palette now let's get into what you guys have all came for the drawing okay so one lucky glam doll is going to be winning this palette, the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette by BH Cosmetics. And it's got a little slide like that. And the palette in here has 21 color eyeshadows and highlighter palette. 
Um, it's got, I mean, infinite looks. This is like the perfect everyday look. It's tons of golden bronzy colors, purples, pinks, peaches, like it is absolutely one of my favorite palettes. And like I said, this is um, the first palette that I started off my channel with and my first look I ever did. So this palette's really nostalgic for me and is very sentimental. So I hope whoever wins enjoys this and gets a lot of use out of it and tags me in some of the looks they create. And then next is, um, that's gonna accompany is this little makeup bag. And it's just got a ton of stuff. It's got um, a little deluxe sample of the Becca highlighter. It's got um, a tinted eye primer from Ulta, little mirror, a few eyeliners, a um, couple of the liquid blushes from Alouette. This one alone is a really good one. Um, and then there's another one right here and both of those can be used as, oh, I got my hair in it, sorry. And both of those can be used as a uh, lip sticks or liquid lip gloss or something and then there's a couple little brushes in there also and um, eyebrow tint in medium I figure that's universal so there's a lot of little things couple mascaras and all that good stuff too so this is going to accompany the palette so dun, 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 dun. let's get into the drawing I wish I had a clear bowl I could put it in but we are just gonna mix this baby up and I am going to just reach in here and get okay you guys you guys ready for this you guys ready I don't know if you're ready I don't know if you've been waiting long enough. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Guess who it is? It is Makeup by May. M E H H H. Guess who it is? So you are the winner, my dear. Um, you have 48 hours to contact me. Um, on my email address it's linked below um, or you can DM me um, and let me know where to ship your prizes now I do want to let everyone know who didn't win um, that do not fret because another giveaway is going to go up this week so you have another chance to win and I think I'm gonna do it a little bit different um, where if you follow me on my social medias each one you follow you'll get a ticket into it um, and I think I'm gonna I think I found a site that will do it all digitally for me so it'll do all the checking and everything for me because let me tell you typing each of your guys's names out and manually going and doing this I spent probably three full days just checking everybody again like I was doing it as it was coming in and then I had to go back and recheck and that took a very long time so I found a site that I think I'm going to use to do the next giveaway and it'll just pick it digitally um so yeah we're gonna do that next time I think and each social media you follow you get an extra point in so you'll have more chances to win and also um if this person for whatever reason choose uh, does doesn't get in contact with me within uh, the 48 hours I'm gonna keep this um, out and I am going to um, redraw and I will let you guys know I will redraw and then the next person up will be the one to get it so I want to congratulate makeup by me <laughs> or me or I'm not sure how to say it but yeah congratulations to you um, enjoy this palette I know I have and thank you to all my glam dolls who have supported me you guys are all amazing and I promise you I wish I had enough to give every single one of you one because you guys are all so amazing and the love that I felt, you know, it just is like since starting my channel is like just amazing and all the new people I've met, you guys are amazing. So I'm excited to give back again this week with another palette or gift basket or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
but I better get on it quick. I think I have an idea, but we'll, we'll announce it this week. So I'm rambling. Um, thank you again, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and review with the Lorac Mega Pro. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring my bell. And if you guys have any ideas for looks or any Halloween looks you guys want to see, um, the last week, uh, right before Halloween, I'm going to devote a week for all like makeup looks, Halloween related makeup looks. So if you guys have anything you guys want to see or tutorials on how to create wounds or bruising or scarring or anything like that, let me know because theatrical makeup is my ish like that's what i love doing the most so um next video will be up on tuesday and sometime next week i'll be announcing the giveaway i haven't decided when but yes all right guys love you all i'm rambling i'll see you guys later like subscribe ring the bell like subscribe ring the bell all right bye guys